the evil committed by Adolf Hitler and the untold suffering that he and his Nazi regime caused across the world was so great that often we forget that he was a human being just like us. This is a photo of Adolf Hitler with Rosa Bernoulli Ninal, a young girl that Hitler befriended and who became known informally as Hitler's child. The photo feels almost incongruous, as if it were simply not possible for the affection Hitler is showing to the young girl to be genuine. But by all accounts, Hitler and Rosa developed an unlikely friendship. Hitler being photographed with children was not unusual. Heinrich Hoffmann was Hitler's official photographer, and images of Hitler with children were commonly used in Nazi propaganda. But this particular child was different, at least in the eyes of Adolf Hitler. Hitler and Bernoulli shared a birthday, which is perhaps the commonality that drew the pair together in the first place. Bernoulli was introduced to Hitler when on their birthday on the 20th of April 1933, she visited Hitler's Berghof in the Bavarian Alps along with throngs of other well-wishers. After their initial meeting, Hitler and Bernoulli exchanged no less than 17 letters between the period 1935 and 1938. Bernoulli knitted Hitler socks and called him uncle. Setting aside the dissonance these photos seem to engender, there is a further detail that makes this story even more strange. For Bernoulli was of Jewish descent. It was discovered that Bernoulli had a Jewish grandmother. While Bernoulli's mother herself was Jewish, she had converted to Catholicism and the family quite clearly supported Hitler and the Nazi party. This distant sullying of the bloodline in the eyes of the Nazis was enough, however, to make Hitler and Bernoulli's friendship a forbidden one. Hitler's devotion to a young girl of Jewish heritage was of course in direct conflict with his beliefs and policies of Aryan racial superiority. Hitler was well aware of Bernoulli's ancestry, yet persisted with the friendship until Martin Bormann, Hitler's private secretary and head of the Nazi chancellery, intervened. Bormann, in apparent disregard of the Fuhrer's wishes, barred Bernoulli from visiting the Berghof. Bormann also forbade Hoffmann from publishing any further photos of Hitler and Bernoulli together. Upon learning of the state of affairs, Hitler is said to have remarked with reference to Bormann that there are people who have a true talent to spoil his every joy. As to why Hitler openly disregarded his own beliefs and acted in hypocrisy on this particular occasion may simply be that he found little Bernoulli adorable. Hitler's adjutant, Fritz Weidemann, explained that Hitler had a purely human attitude towards the child. Just like many of the guards serving at the concentration camps, perhaps Hitler compartmentalized this aspect of his life setting aside ideology briefly to enjoy an innocent friendship with a cute little girl who apparently adored her uncle Hitler. The Second World War commenced in 1939, a year after Hitler and Bernoulli's friendship was brought to an abrupt end. In the six years that followed, six million Jews and other so-called undesirables would perish at the hands of Hitler and his Nazi regime. Sadly, Bernoulli Ninal died of polio in Munich in 1943, aged just 17.